a photograph of Prince George reportedly convinced Prince Harry and Meghan Markle they needed to step away from the royal family, one author has claimed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are said to have thought the firm was conspiring against them before an official snap was released of the Queen and her heirs, writes The Mirror. The sweet photograph showed late Elizabeth II with the now King Charles, Prince William and his son, who was six at the time, in the throne room at Buckingham Palace. The snap was released in early 2020, just days before Harry and Meghan first confirmed they planned to step down as working royals. Author Andrew Morton claims it was a wake-up call for the pair and the final push they needed to get out. The picture simply lined up the future of the monarchy and mirrored many historic portraits, however, it is alleged to have caused upset behind the scenes. In his book Meghan, a Hollywood princess, Morton wrote, the royal couple suspected that the entire institution was conspiring against them. As they saw it, the evidence was all around them. The unspoken code was straightforward, the future of the monarchy was assured, with or without Meghan and Harry. These fears were later said to be confirmed when Harry cancelled a meeting with the Queen, the meeting was arranged as Head wanted to discuss his royal future, Morton claimed. This sends that, despite their international popularity, they were low down the royal totem pole was confirmed when Harry arranged to meet the Queen for a grandson to grandmother chat in early January. At the last minute the meeting was postponed. Charles suspected classic internal politics, his family concerned that anything the Queen agreed during informal conversations would be used by Harry as a negotiating tactic. Speaking to the Mirror's podcast Pod Save the King, Morton said that Harry and Meghan had started to think about leaving the firm far earlier than the public thought and said talks began just six months after their wedding. Morton said, Harry was having conversations in a London hotel with Oprah Winfrey back in November 2018, just six months after they'd been married. So they were thinking about a different direction of travel pretty early on. The irony is they had been given the keys to the first-class lounge when Prince Harry was given the position of youth ambassador to William and Catherine. This was effectively the Queen's way of saying you do the rest of the world, leave royal family to do the UK where they will eventually be the heads of state. The couple announced that they were stepping back from the Buckingham Palace in January 2020. At the time, their statement read, after many months of reflection and internal discussions, we have chosen to make a transition this year in starting to carve out a progressive new role within this institution. We intend to step back as senior members of the royal family and work to become financially independent while continuing to fully support Her Majesty the Queen. It is with your encouragement, particularly over the last few years, that we feel prepared to make this adjustment. We now plan to balance our time between the United Kingdom and North America, continuing to honor our duty to the Queen, the Commonwealth, and our patronages. This geographic balance will enable us to raise our son with an appreciation for the royal tradition into which he was born, while also providing our family with the space to focus on the next chapter, including the launch of our new charitable entity.
Now take